let me introduce myself uh, i am into corporate trainings i have 10 years of experience into development training and i worked with uh, mm -hmm. it giants like ibm accenture tata technologies cognizant hexaware capgemini and i also worked with engineering colleges as an assistant professor so that's about my profile i am into java j2e trainings as well as oracle Good. sql plc awesome uh, today we will talk something about Oracle and I will tell you the significance of Oracle in the IT market. So Oracle is a relational database management system. RDBMS we say. Mm -hmm. RDBMS, relational database management system. So this uh, RDBMS is actually a repository, repository where you can store data in it. For example, there is a bank website which is maintaining uh, customers. So the bank application, for example, if you take citibank.com so this citibank is maintaining all the customer data in its servers in its database so customer information so customer data we say customer data and customers may be having multiple accounts so all the multiple account information and customer personal information like his details, first name, last name, date of birth, contact number, residence address, communication address. So multiple accounts and accounts type. Then so if a customer is married, his wedding anniversary date, so all this stuff is maintained in a repository, so that in a repository that is data is stored in this repository. Likewise, for example, if you take a hospital management system, For example, www. Apollo Hospitals. Com. So this application will be maintaining the patient's data, doctor's data, likewise the various branches that are available with Apollo Hospitals across the globe. So all this information is stored in database. So in database, this data is stored in the form of tables, that is rows and columns format it is. So this data which is stored in the database, so can be manipulated. So you can work out on the data. Manipulations can be performed on the data. So manipulations like, suppose, uh, if you consider this uh, Apollo hospitals, a new patient uh, has visited this Apollo hospitals, then new patient data, new patient information is to be inserted into patient table patient table so there will be a patient table which would be capturing information like the patient first name last name date of birth diseases he is affected from doctors who is suggesting this patient information then his last visit 
and medicines prescribed on that day. So all this information would be captured and stored in patient table. So here you can see new patient information is to be inserted. So inserted. Now the patient uh, has a contact number and that contact number uh, he has changed his contact number assume. So the patient's mobile number has to be updated assume. So mobile number fine. Now the patient is given treatment and the patient uh, has, has, I mean, is completely satisfied with the treatment that is given by the Apollo hospitals and assume the Apollo hospitals is now removing the patient information. Then the Apollo application, Apollo hospitals application would be deleting the patient data. So here these are the manipulations that can be done on patient information. Insert, update, delete are the operations. So likewise suppose Apollo hospitals uh, would like to uh, see the uh, record of all the patients who visited the hospitals for the past quarter. Suppose it has to generate a report the patient from various locations uh, who are who visited particularly uh, from Tamil Nadu branches then the Apollo hospitals would uh, generate a report that report can be generated using select so select so and so patient information from uh, location equals to Tamil Nadu or state equals to Tamil Nadu so here select so all these are manipulations that can be performed. So here uh, the data is stored in database and we need to have a language to communicate with uh, this database, DB we call it as. So here this language is nothing but SQL. So we can expand the SQL, it is structured query language and some authors call it as SQL, S-C-Q-U E-L SQL. So SQL so yes, that is user certain patients information for Apollo hospitals. So like these databases, we have many databases in the IT market. So I am listing out some examples of RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. They are Oracle. SQL Server, DB2, MySQL, Sybase, Ingress, Postgres, and so on. So there are plenty of databases that are available in the market. Of all these databases, Oracle is very widely used. Around 70% of the IT industry is using Oracle as backend to store the information. The rest of the 30% is occupied by this SQL Server, DB2, MySQL and so on. So SQL Server is from Microsoft.
corporation we will be considering oracle into account so i'll talk about oracle here so oracle so oracle has sql and we are going to look into ansi standard sql so ansi Yes, ANSI standard SQL. ANSI stands for American National Standard Institute. So, uh, this uh, American National Standard Institute proposes some standards, and we are following this ANSI SQL, uh, which is standard SQL uh, with Oracle SQL as well as PL SQL. We have Oracle SQL and PL SQL. So here. Once you are familiar with uh, SQL, PL, SQL with Oracle database, as we are learning ANSI standard SQL, which is common standard across all these databases, then working with SQL Server or DB2 or MySQL, Sybase, Ingress, Postgres uh, would become easy. That is why many people will opt uh, Oracle because there are two reasons. One is Oracle is widely used in the market. So you have plenty of opportunities uh, once you get skills in Oracle. Second thing is, if you are familiar with one database like Oracle, you can easily understand uh, the code that is present with SQL Server or DB2 or MySQL because the concepts remain the same across all the databases and the syntax. Uh, there is a slight difference in the syntax. Once you are familiar with the Oracle SQL syntax, it is easy to understand the syntaxes that are available with uh, SQL Server, DB2, MySQL, and so on, so on databases. It's quite easy. And in my sessions, wherever there is a chance, I'll be comparing Oracle database with uh, MySQL because MySQL is an open source database. So next to Oracle. This SQL Server, MySQL will stand. So I will compare my Oracle related things with uh, MySQL uh, in my sessions. So here, SQL and PL SQL. So in SQL, the topics which we are getting into are it has sub languages uh, like DDL, so which stands for Data Definition it's Language. So the DDL language has commands like create, alter, drop, truncate. So what these commands are? We call them as queries. Commands are queries, means the same. So these are the uh, commands which we see in DDL, data definition language. I just told you that uh, the patient data is stored in patient table in rows and columns format. So creating such a patient table, and you created a patient table uh, with uh, columns like uh, first name, last name. So I just mentioned an example here. So creation of patient table with first name, last name and date of birth, so disease, then contact information, then address, yes these things. Now this is the table with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six columns or so the patient, I mean the information would be like this. Uh, I'll show you in Excel sheet. So how this actually looks like. So it would be something like this. First name last name and 
they are date of birth date of birth disease contact contact as address so assume this is a table and the thing which i mentioned here you can consider them as columns yes columns and i am going to fill the information so here the first name maybe alexander graham bell some data work like right then some disease fever contact number and some address so i say like maybe second patient ram and date of birth number as so like this the patient information you can see here so the dr graham bell some date of birth fever so here this complete information belonging to one particular patient is known as record so i label here so there are columns and rows so i'll highlight one row here one row yes you can see that's a row complete information belongs to alexander so like this there may be n number of rows over there and here my table has a structure so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six columns so if i want to modify this uh, table i would like to add an email id here so i am altering the structure of the table so email a new column is being added and here so email id of the patient can be added here so here the structure of the table being altered the that's part here you can see create creating a table altering the structure of the table you can add a new column or you can remove a column from the table then drop the table so drop the table is nothing but removing the complete table from the database truncate where you are going to delete uh, the complete data from a table so table remains as it is only data is removed so we will be exploring all these things in detail of course in our upcoming session then dml so insert update delete i just explained you these three operations here patient information new patient information can be inserted and his here uh, mobile number if it is changed we can update and you can delete the patient information once the treatment is done and patient is satisfied with the treatment so delete likewise we have tcl command i mean uh, dql data query language and here dml stands for data manipulation language data manipulation language and in dql data query language the select statement so here you can see the select statement suppose i want to view the report so the apollo hospitals uh, provided treatment for the past quarter the patient information i want to look into then i can write a select statement and i can generate a report then tcl commands so they are transaction 
control language so commit roll back save point suppose uh, by mistake you have deleted a patient information where uh, some other patient information has to be deleted then you can undo it so roll back so whatever the changes you are making to your database with these uh, DML operations you can make the changes permanent with the help of commit and to control that we can use save point so we will be seeing all these in detail with the example TCL then D C L data control language data control language so we have grant revoke so there may be n number of users for the database so one user may be having table uh, for example employee table he has he can uh, allow his table employee to be shared with uh, some other users of the database so he can give some permissions to other users on his table maybe other users can uh, manipulate the data or he can, they can only view so he can control the permissions by granting permissions the given permissions can be taken back with the help of revoke so this DCL actually is taken care by administrator database administrator we application programmers should have some knowledge about DCL yes so these are the sub languages that are available in SQL we will explore them in detail along with that we will be looking into database objects uh, like views indexes synonyms sequences clusters then we will be looking into joins sub queries and their types then functions set operators so these are the things we will look under it here and I will highlight uh, all the interview related questions uh, in my sessions wherever we find a topic which is very necessary and some interview questions that we can expect from the topic I will highlight those interview questions then in PL SQL PL SQL we will be going through blocks and types of blocks so PL SQL so PL stands for procedural language extension for SQL the thing is uh, we can see programming concepts in PL SQL for example uh, I believe you might have seen C programming in your academics or maybe in your work environment where you have control structures like uh, uh, if if else nested if conditions then loops for loop while loop do while loop so all these uh, control structures program related programming related things uh, can be seen in PLC so we are going to write the blocks over there the types of blocks and control structures then procedures functions exception handling cursors trigger collections 
So these are the topics we see in PL SQL. So you can write programs using PL SQL. That is, whatever the things you learn in SQL, you are going to put those SQL related things in block of statements and perform some tasks. So programming related things also we can do with Oracle using PL SQL. So for this PL SQL, you need to have at least a basic understanding of C programming. The basic syntax and those control structures. Yes, these are the topics we shall cover in our upcoming session. Okay, good question, right? Do so you have any language? Yes. Yes, yeah, so sub languages where you show that a DDL has create a L kind right. of drop truncate. So what is this? I mean, drop as opposed to, let's say, delete in DML. Drop and delete, right? Uh -huh. The thing is, with the drop, uh, I'll show you an Excel. So this is my table. Uh, I view my Excel sheet as a database. And I have a table with some information here. The drop command, what it does is, yes, you can see here, there mm -hmm. is no table over there. Mm -hmm. It means the entire table as well as uh, data, I mean structure and data are removed from the database. Okay. Now if I write a query, trying to use patient table, database will throw an error that patient table does not exist. Got it? Got it. Now, Delete. Delete means, you can see over there, the data present in my table alone is deleted. You can see table structure remains. Only data is deleted. So you can individually delete, let's say, first name, or you can delete the entire row, or you can just delete one column? Look, look. You can delete entire row. Suppose you want to delete one uh, one column, the thing is you cannot delete one column. In that column, we can put a, a null value. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. You cannot delete a column over there. If you want, you can remove entire column. Suppose there is an email column and I am removing it. I mean, I have removed the entire column from the structure of the table. That is alter alter command in DDL statement. You cannot remove a single value from a column. If you want to remove, you have to put a null over there. It means the existing value, suppose uh, address, I say, I'll give a control Z, right. So there is an email ID here, right. I remove this. Either you can put empty over there or you can put a null over there. It's your choice. Null is uh, supported by all the databases. Null is nothing but it represents some junk over there. Okay. And it does not so, occupy memory. So, so let's say if we have these many columns, right? So, a, 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 a column cannot be zero. It has to be null. You cannot leave it blank, right? I mean, That's you can. Of course, you can leave. Of course, you can leave. It's blank now. Okay. Either you can put it blank. Or you can put a null over that. Okay. I mean, it depends upon your requirement. So what's so the benefit of putting null uh, as opposed to leaving it blank? Uh, different, I mean, uh, suppose uh, if you maintain it null, you can write a query where uh, the patient does not have an email, assume. Suppose for all the patients who does not have an email, you are maintaining a null over there, assume. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you can write a query uh, uh, like, uh, uh, show me the patient information whose email ID is null. You can write use. You can write a query using N U L N null over there. Okay. Can we write the same query with that sh sh that shows those results that are blanks? Ah uh, yes, of course. 
suppose you are not writing null over there and it's blank mm -hmm. then where email id equals to you can just mention blank over there in single quotes okay. because uh, characters we just mentioned in single quotes okay. So going back to uh, your, um, I guess, notepad. Notepad. You mentioned, you mentioned that we do need, uh, uh, for PLSQL, we need C language. Uh, the basic things, which you might have gone through in your academics is enough. OK. In the sense, in your, in your undergraduation, you might have seen, right? C programming. Right, right. That is enough. Okay. So we need to have skills in. We're, we're going to start it from SQL, right? And then we right, go. Right, move. right, right. We begin with SQL, then we go with PLSQL, and it takes around twenty-five to thirty hours uh, for the complete course. Okay. You going to uh, help us install it? Is it yeah, free sure. that we can install? Or do we need license or? Yes, yes. Is no, 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 no. We have trial versions available. You can download them. And I'll show you installation. Yes, I don't have Oracle. I can show you the installation. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yes. Software. Yes, you can oh. see. Mm -hmm. uh, you can download Oracle. I'll, I'll write the title here. Oracle Express Edition XE. 11G. It would be something like 11.2 release. I'll show you here. Oracle 11G. Express edition download for your platform, maybe Windows mm -hmm. or some other platform. Windows. You can see, you can, I'll share this link. I believe I don't have chart enabled here. Yes, I cannot see chart. Yes, uh, you can look, you can search for Oracle right. the XE download and choose the first link, okay? Mm -hmm. And from here in downloads, you can see accept license agreement. Okay. Then you can download it uh, for your platform, either Windows or Linux. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, based upon the architecture of your machine, 32 or 64 bit. Mm -hmm. I already downloaded it. And it's a zip folder, zip, zip file around 320 MB and you can unzip it you will see a folder here setup setup file yes double click on the setup file yes yes and just go on clicking next on the wizard that it displays Next, 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 uh, <laughs> it gets installed. Right, 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 of course. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, for can... SQL, are we going to use the same uh, Oracle system for SQL as well? Or right, right. Because of SQL. Right, 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 right. Right. All right, so this, I mean, I can, I'm pretty sure that should, it should be straightforward. Yes, it's straightforward. And it, we can finish it in an extra two three minutes. Okay. And here uh, on this, uh, uh, when you try to download, it will ask for username password. You have to register on Oracle website, and the registration is free. Mm -hmm. You have to give that username password, and you can download them. Okay, click on next 
accept the license agreement next oracle database 11g express edition next you have specified a non empty directory i think i have that in my c drive let me check Yes, let me remove this Oracle XC. Yes, I can go back to installation. The uh, password will be used with both Sys and system database. Okay, the thing is. With Oracle database, there will be uh, a default account. The account name is system account. Mm -hmm. Either you can use SYSS or system in full. And the password I am giving for that. Okay. Confirm the password. Click on next. Then install. So this password you have to use while logging into Oracle environment after installation. So there is no server access with this, right? Everything will be locally installed on my machine. Right, 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 right. Suppose you are uh, in your business, I mean your work environment, uh, the database would be on a different machine and there will be an IP address for that. You will be using that IP address to access the database from your client machine. Right, right. And this uh, IP address would be provided by the uh, network support team in your work environment. Right. And of course the username, password also they will supply because mm -hmm. the admin team might have installed that so they know the username password or uh, sometimes you are uh, teammates also may know that and you can get that from your teammates mm -hmm. so <coughs> within oracle i know with uh, within sql microsoft sql we use odbc driver is it the same with oracle as well uh, odbc driver uh, for what purpose are you talking for logging in, making a connection. To no, the you don't need to. No, 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 no. We don't have any uh, external configuration here. Once the server is installed, database, you can directly log in with that username password. Okay, but in a in a job environment, does it work like with a, some kind of a driver like ODBC or how do you log in? Look, the thing? Uh, the thing is, uh, there are various types of drivers. So what driver you are using, it depends. There may be ODBC driver. So when I talk about uh, drivers with a Java perspective, there are four types of drivers. Type 1 driver, type 2, type 3, type 4 driver. Over there, type 1 driver talks about that ODBC kind of thing, which you just told. Mm -hmm. So that ODBC configurations are also done by the admin team. You don't need to work on that. File. The file does not appear to exist. Something went wrong with my installation. Uh, fine, I will I will fix it. Something went wrong with my installation. Yeah. Please yes, follow the steps uh, yep. that uh, are shown on the wizard. Mm -hmm. I will do. Fine. Uh, the other Thank part you is very much. Pura, welcome. Uh, yeah. Uh, Amrita Pura. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, do you have any queries? Yeah. The query which I have is: uh, Can we focus this training on the enterprise edition of DB? Because real time. Uh, Express editions are not used, right? So I get stuck somewhere. Look, uh, look, I mean, look. stopping and stopping, listener configuration. The thing is, for learning yeah. purpose and practice purpose, Express edition will do enough. In your work environment, you may be using database servers. 
Yeah, the enterprise editions so, of data bin. Yeah. Right, right. So whatever, whatever the uh, uh, you use. For learning purpose, express edition will do enough. Whatever the things we are dealing, which I listed on Notepad, are more enough. And with the uh, enterprise edition, you just need to know the installation and how to log in over there. That's it. And with my uh, sessions, I'll be using the Oracle uh, 11G editions browser, and uh, I'll be using Toad environment uh, to work out with. Uh, PLC for related things. Stored is a uh, tool, right? Uh, which yeah. can be configured with database and we can, can you, uh, write the through, through the uh, uh, prerequisite uh, or the steps for uh, enterprise addition because I actually get confused sometimes. So if you can tell us the login, how to stop it, uh, how to see the listener configuration, those steps, that should be good. No, 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 nothing to worry about that. Yeah, uh, see, the, this uh, express edition is pretty simple, right? Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, I agree it's good for practice and things, but right. the real time we use the enterprise edition and uh, regularly we need to start and stop the database, uh, some configuration. So those things I wanted to actually understand. Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, I'll try to find some videos uh, for that on YouTube, and I'll help you uh, in doing that. Because okay. I don't use uh, Enterprise Edition here, and I don't have this software also. Uh, because uh -huh. I generally use this Express Edition mm -hmm. uh, in GBs, maybe two GB, I think, and more than maybe more than more than that also. I actually don't have that software, so if you uh -huh. try to install that on your machine, I'll help you in configuring it. Okay.